Hello my friends, Roger Mudd, Fossil University, closing in on the health issue today. Now, what am I closing in on? These are the different secretions, saliva, gastric juices, pancreatic juices, enteric juices, that means in the intestinal areas. Now, what are these? These are the different membranes and the different absorptive areas of your esophagus and your stomach and your small intestine and your rectum. Now, what are all these little layers in there? Well, they're layers to protect you, and they're layers to hold mucus, and they are membranes, and they are filters to filter out the big things. Here's the key. I've been working on this. I've said, why? I'm trying to relate all the pieces, and I'm finding out that the bacteria coats everything. So if the bacteria goes, you're screwed. Now, antibiotics kills a bacteria. That's when you have invasions. Now, I said, well, how can I draw some kind of a similarity to that, to these invasions which create breakages in the, in the membranes and then the things invade you? That is the issue. They are there all the time, but they can't get into those membranes. That's the key. If that thing is covered with goo, they just stopped. And the bacteria is the key to cover them with goo. So, then I go to the point of, well, how do you absorb the things? These are all things that absorb stuff. If there's goo on there keeping all these things out, how can you absorb anything? Then I realized that the goo that is on here has two purposes, and this is understood. One of them is to create the mucus, and they actually eat the mucus, and then they create enzymes and so forth as well. The enzymes are the things that make the molecules that they want small enough to come in and invade these tissues. Otherwise, the big molecules of bacteria, too many chunks of stuff there, big invasive molecules, too big, we don't want them. The enzymes know what to do, and there's 11,000 bacteria, and that means there's 11,000 different reactions from those things. Some of them will just make mucus, some of them will be bad bacteria, some of them will be good bacteria, but most of them are going to be bacteria that are doing a job for you, and the primary job that they do is to make enzymes, and the product, of en and the product result of enzymes is a breakdown and... and smallness of molecules so that you can absorb them. That covers both things. Keep the big ones out, let the little ones in, you're healthy. You break any one of these spots in here and now you have a source of, of invasion. What's going to happen? Inflammation, soreness, tenderness, tired, all of that stuff. You might have blood in your stool. These are the kind of things that it just all fits together. Keep the big pieces out, let the little pieces in, and it's all done by bacteria and slime and membranes. Then you're healthy. All right, so I started to figure, what is the similarity to somebody having ulcerations in their stomach or their intestines or whatnot? And I said, what if somebody ate a bunch of glass? Well, what happens? You get infected. You get invasions. You get septicema, septicemia. You get all kinds of problems in your stomach. Now, I just want to show this. If you see this here, <laughs> you know, I do the mud fossils, and that's what, how I started all this understanding, all this chemistry in the body and so forth. You see that? There's a, there's a, a picture going around on the uh, internet inside of a cave. It's identical to that. I have all these little balls inside of this structure. I just figured I'd show that. Now, let me just show you something else. All right, here we got some more action going on. Every single bit of this has to have mucus and membranes, otherwise you get invaded and get destroyed. Your whole body is just nothing but separation from the rest of everything and the rest is inside of you. It has to stay away. Everything is about enzymes and you know, all these unhighlighted places, I, are, every one of those is about enzymes and juices and how the, 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 the system works. It's a very, very good book. This thing has uh, details that I haven't found anywhere else. So, I think that the, the key to health is do not 
perforate anything internal inside of you. Otherwise, that is a hole and a place for invasion. People get in accidents. They have deep puncture wounds. Uh, a friend uh, years and years ago, his daughter was 36 years old. She had a car accident and, uh, and, and she got breast cancer not long after that. I mean, you know, it was for several years, but it, it, once the invasion starts, the tissues, the membranes are broken. You know, when you have a, a, an injury, you're going to have to be sure that you heal that thing up. Otherwise, you've got a hole in there, and that's chronic. That's the chronic issues. Now, that's all i got to say about that. All right? Mudfouse University, stick with me. I don't know. We'll see if we can figure this out. and Who knows? Maybe we can uh, get a little healthier. That's all.